Hello and welcome to the solution video to spicy question number 43. So in this question we have a vehicle and we're told its speed is constant at y meters per second for the first x seconds of the journey. So the first section of the journey is this one here, you can see the speed is constant due to the horizontal line, and we're told that the speed is at y meters per second for x seconds. So the horizontal distance for this section must be x, and the vertical distance for the section must be y. We're then told the vehicle accelerates for the next x seconds to a maximum speed of 3y meters per second. So this is now the second section of the diagram here. Once again the horizontal distance must be x because it said the next x seconds, but this time it goes up to a maximum speed of 3y. So we know the peak of this diagram up here is at 3y. Then we're told that during the next x seconds it decelerates to a speed of 2y meters per second, so that's this section here. Once again the horizontal distance here is x, and we know the car decelerates to a speed of 2y, so this here must be 2y. And finally the vehicle speed remains constant at 2y for y more seconds. So a little bit different this time is this section here. We know the speed is at 2y already and it's constant, but it goes at this speed for y seconds, so this time the horizontal distance for this bar is y. Now we're told the vehicle travels a total distance of 1000 meters and that the journey lasts for 42.5 seconds. To work out the total distance on a speed time graph we need to work out the area under the graph. So we'll do this in sections, the first one here, the area of that is just x times y, so xy. Then we'll look at this section here. Now this is a trapezium, it's turned on its side from your normal view of a trapezium but we can still work out its area. It's one half times the sum of the parallel sides, now the parallel sides will be y and 3y, multiplied by the height, which in this case will be x y plus 3y is 4y, and half of 4y is 2y, so it's 2y times x, which is 2xy. Moving on to this section here, once again it's a trapezium, so we'll do 1 half times the sum of the parallel sides, this time it's 3y and 2y, multiplied by the height, which is x. If you add 3y and 2y, you get 5y, times this by 1 half, and you'll get 2.5, so it's 2.5xy. And on to the final section, this one is 2y by y, which is 2y squared. So if we add all of these together we get the total area, which is equivalent to the total distance travelled. We can simplify this a little bit, we've got three terms here with xy, so we've got 1xy add 2xy add 2.5xy, which is 5.5xy plus 2y squared. And since we know this is the same as the total distance, this must equal 1000. Now we were also told the total journey time was 42.5 seconds. The total journey on the diagram can be seen by this arrow here. So it's x, then x, then x, then y. So altogether, 3x plus y. And this must equal 42.5. So we've now just got simultaneous equations to solve. I'm going to double both of the equations to remove the decimals. So we get 11xy plus 4y squared equals 2000. And doubling the second one gives you 6x plus 2y equals 85. I can rearrange the second one to get x as the subject. So let's take away 2y from both sides first, then we get 6x equals 85 minus 2y, then divide both sides by 6. So we'll get x equals 85 minus 2y over 6. Now if we rewrite the first of our equations, but replace x with all of this, we get 11 lots of x, which we now know is 85 minus 2y over 6, times y, plus 4y squared equals 2000. If you multiply through by 11 and y, the fraction becomes this, and then if we multiply all terms by 6 to remove this fraction, we get 935y minus 22y squared plus 24y squared equals 12,000. This is a quadratic in terms of y. If you collect all terms on the left and simplify, you end up with 2y squared plus 935y minus 12,000 equals 0. Now at this point, you may want to reach for your calculator and use the quadratic formula, but this one does actually factorise. It's 2y minus 25 and y plus 480. This gives you two values for y, y is 12.5, or y equals negative 480. Now we can't have negative 480 since it's a speed, so we'll remove that solution. And we can also work out the value of x by going back to our x formula and substituting in y for 12.5. So if you do 85, take away two lots of 12.5 and then divide by 6, you find x equals 10. Now in the question we were asked to find out how far the vehicle travels in the first x seconds of the journey. Well the first x seconds is this section here, and again, to find the distance, we just find the area under the graph. So we just need to multiply x by y. Now that we know x and y, it becomes quite straightforward. 10 times 12.5 is 
is 125 meters. And that's your answer to the question. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you found it useful. Check out the one I think you should watch next and subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos.